and welcome to my channel. My name's Dana. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am going to do a clock. I'm so excited about doing another one. I, The last one I did was so much fun. So I thought I would take you through the steps on how I make my clocks. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it helps if anybody is curious. Um, if I don't cover something and you have questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below and I love to answer and read all your guys' comment, comments. I can't talk. So I hope you enjoy enough me talking. Let's get started. All right, everybody. I am going to show you the tools that I use to prep my clock. So first, course I have a cutting board. I use a ruler, my exacto knife. I have this vinyl adhesive stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. It is amazing. Um, I put it here. Let me grab one that I've already done. So I cut it out and I put it on the back and this has saved me so much time. It comes off like a dream when the resin's all set. Um, the popsicle sticks I set on the back just to raise it up so I can put my roll of tape that I use because my straw is gonna be sticking out on the bottom. So I just do it this way so it lays flat on my turntable. Um, right there. I have my roll of tape because I will have to um, just roll some tape on here to make it big enough for so it doesn't slip through the hole. Also, I have some sandpaper. Very, it's not. It's like a 320. So. It doesn't really sand sand, but it gets rid of the, the pieces that need to go just to make it smoother. And then uh, this one I'm gonna gesso in black and I'll probably end up doing two coats to prime the wood. And yeah, so those are my tools. I hope I didn't forget anything. But I'm telling you, this, I have to say, this is my favorite part because it saves me, like I said, a lot of time. So if you have not used this, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so this part I will speed up a little bit. So yeah, let's get started. So it's cut out and of course it's too big, but what I do is I just kind of eye it to where there's a good edge right here. And then flip it around and then I'll cut this piece off. And I'll continue to do that until I have a good, just a little gap around.
So I decided to put that vinyl stuff over the tape and see if it will come out of the hole easier than it did the when I just had tape on it because that was a pain. So hopefully this will work. We'll see. So um, I'm gonna use this Filbert. I love Filbert brushes. But um, to paint on, I think I'm gonna need two to three coats. I'm hoping two, because you wait for it to dry all the way to do your second coat. So, all right, let's get started. done I just wanted to let you guys know after you clean your brushes and they're wet just kind of reshape them this uh don't put it in your jar or whatever you have them in up like this let them dry on flat because eventually over time that water is gonna go down and it's gonna mess with the glue that way it keeps your brushes good just a tip all right so I will get you all moved over to my table and we'll mix up some resin all right so I am going to mix up my pigments in my resin but I wanted to show you the colors I chose so I am gonna use the one that I uh, the black one that I primed. So I'm gonna use black pearl, wine, sunset, and royal. I thought these would look super pretty on the black, so that's what we're gonna do. So using resin, one, I'm gonna say Make sure you read your safety stuff on the back of it. I'm using art resin right now, but I'm going to be changing up to KS resin, I think is what I'm gonna try next. But this one, most of them are a one to one part, one part resin, one part hardener. So I'm gonna make four ounces. I'm gonna do two ounces of the resin 
and then two ounces of the hardener. And then I mix it for like about three minutes until it's clear. Um, and then I have these little cups that I'm gonna mix my other colors in. I have one of these just in case I need to get something out of it. So what I do is I double up my gloves. That way when I'm done doing the, like the black that will go down first, then I can take that off and still my hands are protected and they're not all sweaty and it takes forever to get gloves on. And you also need a heat gun. I mean, you can use a torch, but the heat gun I feel is a lot easier with resin work. Unless I'm doing something super small, then I use my torch. Make sure that you're level. That way, after you're done doing your design, it doesn't just fall off. <laughs> All right, I'm going to speed this up and then when it's all set, oh yeah, I was gonna show you. So I bought these cool things. They're for picnics, actually. But what you do is, let's see. It covers it really nicely to where I can still see what's going on just in case I need to fix something or, and it keeps my little Wally's dog hair out of my stuff. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm super excited. Hopefully it doesn't keep calling the way. I think it's moving this way. <sighs> you know. So we'll see how it goes. Show you how I finish everything up. All right, here it is. And now it's time to get the straw out and hopefully I can get it out easily. <laughs> we'll see. So yeah. Let's get started.
Well, that was definitely a lot easier than my first clock. <laughs> so then, kinda, I apart, push it down a little bit. So, that was a good choice. I'm glad I did that. All right, next up, I'm gonna take the back off. So what I did last time was cut it into like sections so it's easier to fill off. So I don't push too hard, but hard enough to cut. Then let's take the tip very carefully and peel it up. So then you can just and it peels very nicely. I missed some bumps, but that's okay. I will just sand it. All done. So I will have to go through and sand some of this down because I've wasn't right on top of scraping uh, the bottom. I did it like three times and I should have went back a fourth time because I missed that side. Oh well, it's not difficult to. My next step, I will sand this a little bit and then I will take a thin coat of polyacrylic, like super thin just to do a protection on the back of this. But I will do that here, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna use this brush and here's my poly acrylic and I just dip and do it. But first, I need to sand. So right after you're done using polyacrylic, go wash your paintbrush out with soap and water right away. Don't let it sit. All right, all done. I'm gonna go wash my brush out, get this closed back up, and then I let this sit for about 30 minutes, and then I'll put the mechanism on. I will be right back. All right, so we have the mechanism and the hands. So the directions on here, not exactly easy to follow to me anyways once I figured it out it's super easy but this little piece right here I didn't know it came off if you can see this little piece it unscrews I thought I was gonna break it so that is good to know <laughs> but you take this off and then a washer that you need and that goes on the front and then you keep the rubber one for the back so I'm gonna put this stuff here so I don't lose it and 
And then you need to figure out, because I'm not putting numbers on this, you need to figure out which is 12 o'clock. So I was gonna go right here for it to be 12. So what I did last time, because you gotta match this part up, is I took a little piece of tape Put it right where I want it. Take my pin. So there we go. Now I'm going to put the back on. I'll come back and make sure it's lined up right, but we're gonna keep it close. <laughs> All right. So then you have your washer that goes on, and your nut. want this tight so it doesn't move when you put the battery in. Alright, now the back is tight and it's lined up. Now we're going to do the other part. Alright, now for the hour hand. You want to line it up with your line, and then you have to gently press, which is kind of a pain, I do have to say. If it's lined up with the hanger in the back, that's great. So that's how I'm going to do the rest. So now, the and you want everything to point at the 12 o'clock. So if you look, this piece is kind of square and you want to line it up with this, but it's not lined up. So I need to move the little mechanism in the back, the little circle thing, to get it to line up. There. And then carefully, because these bend very easily. And then you put this little screw on. And this one has a little hole in it, and there's a little thing that you have to clip and get it in there and push on to. There it is. All done. All right, it's all hung up. I am super excited about it. I hung it right next to my other one. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really wanted to do it to help those who were curious or needed help and, or just wanted to watch. And I thank you all so much for supporting my channel and being here. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.